everyone and welcome to Be Yourself with Miss P. Today I would like to share with you a horrible, horrible experience I encountered the other day and I truly cannot believe I put myself through that pain and misery. So today I'm going to discuss coffee and then my glass of wine. Now, the other night, I'm watching a movie, I'm enjoying a glass of wine, I'm unwinding for the evening, and my son, being the little snot that he is, he comes into the living room and he proceeds to read to me the benefits of drinking water. What happens to your body when you drink water versus when you don't drink water? And I looked at him and I'm like, what's the point? I mean, what are you getting at? Spit it out. He wanted to tell me that he was a little concerned because of some health issues I've been having and he feels as though I need to drink more water. And he challenged me to drinking water for nine days, water only, nothing else. No coffee, wine, beer, no alcohol period, no tea, smoothies, absolutely nothing. Now I'm going to tell you, for those of you who know me, you know I love my coffee. I love my coffee creamer. So this weekend, I deliberately did not buy any creamer because in my mind, I'm up for the challenge and coffee does not affect me. It doesn't wake me up. I could drink a cup at night right before I go to bed. I'm also a little old school. I still have a coffee pot. I don't have a Keurig machine because I truly can drink a whole pot of coffee by myself in one day. And I'd rather buy a tub of Maxwell or Folgers coffee, go ahead and make my 12 cups, start the pot, and go from there. So I told him, so I told my son I could go one week without coffee. Now in my mind, one week is five days. That's Monday through Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies. Saturday and Sunday doesn't count in your week. It's Monday through Friday. So I agreed. I would do water, water only, five straight days, but he had to do the same thing. Come Monday morning, I woke up, did not have my coffee already preset the night before, and I drank a small glass of water, and I proceeded to get dressed and ready for the day. I get to work at 7.30 in the morning, and I kid you not, by 8 o'clock, I was a little, I was getting on edge, I was just a little moody. By nine o'clock, I had a headache. It, it just, it came from nowhere. No joke. It, it just came from nowhere. It was the worst headache I've had in a really long time. Well, I told the guys at work I wasn't going to drink any coffee because by this time, when I get to work, I clock in, print out my reports, and then I make me a cup of coffee. I sit down and get started for the day. So they noticed right off the bat I didn't have a cup of coffee. So now they're making fun of me. Everybody's saying uh, you're having withdrawals from your coffee. The caffeine's affecting you or the lack of caffeine is affecting you. That's why you have a headache. I disagreed with them. In my mind, I'm convinced that because the season's changing and everything's blooming, that it was just my allergies and my sinuses. By 1030, I had already taken two Tylenol and my head was killing me. So I go to lunch every day from 11.30 to 12.30. I come back from lunch and the gentleman who was watching the front office for me had two customers in front of him. And he made the comment, not even thinking, he's like, wow, you look really rough. And I was like, my head is pounding. The Tylenol has not kicked in. Now that I have a full belly, I think I'm going to take some ibuprofen. I didn't know the two people that he was talking to were nurses. So he proceeds to tell them my business and how I'm going to go without coffee for one week, blah, 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 blah. He tells them the whole story. I chime in. Well, immediately they want to lecture me. Coffee, I, I can't just give it up overnight. Like you need to wing yourself off of it. Well, here's the deal. I don't want to wing myself off of it. I enjoy it. I want it. Okay, I do have an addiction. And I can stop if I truly wanted to. And if I did want to stop, then I would slowly wing myself off. But anyways, the point of the story, 
Both nurses stated that you cannot stop any kind of caffeine like that cold turkey and that they believe that is why I have a headache. She proceeded to tell me that my son had a good point and yes, there are studies about going nine days without water and how it resets your body. But she said if I continue to do this, she guaranteed for five straight days, I'm going to have a headache. And it's going to be a caffeine headache because I don't have any caffeine in my system. So now, what is a girl to do? Do I go ahead and make a cup of coffee in hopes that it will magically cure my headache? Or do I start fresh on Tuesday and just have one cup of coffee but not tell my son about it? I decided to do the right thing. I took two ibuprofen, grabbed a bottle of water. Headache kept getting worse. The ibuprofen did help a little bit. Uh, that night when I got off work, I had to mow the grass. And honestly, I was foul. I was irritable. I, n no exaggeration. I I'm pretty sure the guys were pretty much fed up with me. And I wasn't trying to be nasty, but I just wasn't feeling good. And I wanted to be left alone. Not feeling good because I didn't have any coffee. So usually when I come home, depending on what kind of day I had and what kind of mood I'm in, I will either make me a cup of coffee or I will pour me a glass of wine. I truly wanted a glass of wine, but now my son was home and I can't just pop open a bottle and pour me a glass while he's here because he thinks day one, I've done a really good job with drinking water and water only. I had some oranges and strawberries and him and I were discussing cutting them up and infusing them in our water. He felt as though flavored water, all natural flavored water, would help me drink more. It, well, it, got, it gets better. Um, it dawned on me day one, I had maybe a bottle and a half of water. I felt like crap. So day two, I wake up, wake up with a headache. I wake up groggy. I'm just, I'm going really slow. I'm not in the mood. He goes to work and I'm staring at the coffee pot. And I'm like, nope, can't do this. I take two ibuprofen with a little bit of water. I go to work. And I'm so used to my normal routine, making a cup of coffee and then sitting down and starting the day. And one of the guys at work asked me, how are you feeling? I said, my head is pounding. I truly am now starting to believe it's because I haven't had any coffee. By 1030, I'm not going to lie, I made me a cup of coffee at work. The feeling when it went down, it was so good. It was just, it was magic. I was in heaven. And then I started laughing at myself. And they couldn't believe that I actually made a cup of coffee. They're like, "You're, we knew it. You weren't going to go a full week. Back up. I had every intentions of giving up coffee and wine for an entire week. That That's what I was going to do. Until the side effects made me feel like crap. And I got tired of feeling this way. And I didn't, I just didn't like it. And I just wanted to be better. So I figured... One cup a day would not bother me. I'm drinking it at work, not at home. So my son doesn't even have to know. <clears throat> I made a more conscious effort to drink more water on day two. Guess how much more water was? I drank two full bottles. I was tickled to death. Day three, I wake up, do the same routine. Day three is better. I didn't have that urge for a cup of coffee, but I still felt sluggish. So now I've told myself the truth. Coffee really does affect you. Coffee has caffeine and it really does give me a pick-me-up. But how come it doesn't make me awake at night right before I go to bed? Okay, so anyways, get to work. Immediately, the first thing I did at 8 o'clock, I didn't clock in. I didn't do nothing. I walked straight over to that coffee pot or the Keurig machine at work. Made me a cup of coffee, sat down, clocked in, started the day, and I started the day off good. I felt great. Still had a slight headache, but not as bad. 
I grabbed a bottle of water. I was like, I'm going to drink one full bottle before lunch. And I did. So I go home at lunch. I get my Yeti cup. I put ice in it. I put water. I go back to work. And I just sipped on it. I was like, I don't like this. This is BS. I, I need to add something to my water. So I'm reading all these flavor packets I have at work. I even bought the liquid IV. But the liquid IV stuff has a lot of sugar in it. So I decided I would steer clear of that. So we're steering clear of anything. We're just drinking straight water. I made myself drink the whole glass. So by my afternoon break, I had two things of water. I get the third one and... I ended up putting a flavor packet in it, a black cherry flavor packet. Drank it. No problem. We're on the third one. I get home and I cut up some strawberries and some oranges, or not even oranges, the little clementines. So I have clementines and fresh strawberries in my Yeti cup of water. I drank the whole thing. Okay, this is getting better. Never thought about a cup of coffee. Never thought about a glass of wine. We'll wake up this morning. I'm like, yep, yeah, my son needs to hurry up and go to work. My head hurts. I woke up feeling like crap. I don't want to do this today. So as soon as he left for work, I brought the coffee pot back out here. I made me a half a pot and I drank two glasses before I ever made it to work. But when I got to work, I didn't drink any. So that was good. And before lunch I had a full glass of cucumber water which I did not like um no cutting up fresh cucumbers and putting your water was not good after lunch I took a full clementine squeezed it all up put it in there drank it then I put some strawberries some clementine and I got a sugar packet and I sprinkled a sugar packet in there stirred it up drank it Hey, I'm drinking more water. I had two cups of coffee. I'm like, holy crap. I did good because for the first three days, I only had one cup. Today, I did two. Whoop, I'm reversing here. Not good. So, my work day had its moments. It was a little hectic and busy at some t points. And the weather is pretty nice outside. And when I got home, without even thinking, I opened a bottle of wine. I got a cup. I poured it in there. And I drank the whole glass. So I did bad today. I had two cups of coffee. A glass and a half of wine. But I did drink more water than what I've been drinking. I learned today that your body can go one full week without food. It can survive one full week without food. But your body cannot survive more than three days without water. So I know water is important to you. And my friend Lindsay, she's a firm believer of lemon water. And I did go through this kick a month, two months ago, where I was putting lemon wedges in my water. So this weekend, I need to go ahead and buy another bag of lemons so next week, I could start drinking lemon water again. I decided I am going to cut back on my coffee intake. Cut back on my wine intake. Monday through Friday only, because that is one week. And Saturdays and Sundays, you're supposed to let loose. You're supposed to have fun and be yourself. Next week, more water. And I'm actually going to keep a journal. And I'm going to force myself. I need to set a reminder, like an alarm on my phone. or I, I need to do something to remind me to constantly drink water. And then I'm going to pay attention to my body, my weight. I, I See if I lose weight, if I gain weight, how my skin looks and feels. What about my hair, my nails? I know things aren't going to change in one week. But baby steps. But as of now, my son does not know I have cheated. 
and he's very proud of me because he thinks I have gone four days of drinking water and water only. So, um, please stay tuned for the continuation to see how this turns out. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to click the um, thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Toodaloo!